this experiment is all about testing for anions present in given solutions. So you have to carry out certain tests to identify the anions present. So let's first detect the presence of carbonate. This is an experiment to test for the presence of carbonate ion. I am taking a carbonate salt. and. Uh, I have to test for the presence of the carbonate ion. So to this salt, I will add hydrochloric acid, dilute hydrochloric acid. You can see the brisk effervescence, which is a clear indication of a gas being evolved. And this gas, I will pass through lime water and observe if what happens. So you can see that as carbon dioxide bubbles through the lime water, the lime water is turning cloudy or milky, which is a test for the presence of carbon dioxide gas. So this is a clear indication that the given salt to us contains a carbonate ion. The next given solution contains nitrate ions and we have to identify the presence of nitrate ions by, by carrying out the following test. So I take a boiling tube into which I add a few centimeter cube of the given solution which contains nitrate ions. To this I am adding sodium hydroxide. A few centimeter cube of sodium hydroxide is added and then I put a piece of aluminum foil into the solution mixture and gently heat the mixture. A gas will definitely be evolved and I will be testing the gas with a moist red litmus paper by holding the paper at the mouth of the boiling tube. So you can clearly see a gas is getting evolved. and the red litmus paper is slowly turning blue. Which is a clear indication that the gas evolved is ammonia gas and the ion present in the given solution is nitrate ion. NO3 1 minus is the anion present in the given solution. This given solution contains sulphite ions and I am going to test for the presence of sulphite ions by taking a few centimeter cube of the given solution into a hard glass boiling tube. To this I am adding a few drops of dilute hydrochloric acid to acidify the given solution. Now this has to be gently heated to get the sulfur dioxide gas evolved from the given solution mixture and I will be testing it, the presence of the sulfur dioxide gas by showing a filter paper soaked in potassium permanganate solution. So I am soaking the filter paper with potassium permanganate solution and heating the given solution mixture. The given solution contains sulphide ions. I have added dilute hydrochloric acid to it and I am gently heating the solution. And as I heat, I am bringing the filter paper soaked in potassium permanganate solution to see what happens as the solution mixture is heated. A gas is getting evolved. 
and what happens to the filter paper the pink color that we had for the potassium permanganate the pink color is getting decolorized by the evolved gas so this is a clear test for the sulfite ion and the gas evolved is sulfur dioxide it has got a pungent smell and it decolorizes the filter paper soaked in potassium permanganate solution so the given solution contains sulfite ions so3 2 minus so in this um, solution i have uh, the sulfate solution and i will be testing for the sulfate ion present in the given solution so i am taking a few centimeter cube of the given solution which is a clear solution as you see and it contains an anion which is the sulfate anion so i have to test for the sulfate anion for testing i will be needing the reagents dilute nitric acid and barium nitrate so i acidify the given solution with a few drops of dilute nitric acid this is because the next reagent which i am adding is barium nitrate so when i add a few drops of barium nitrate see white precipitate of barium sulfate is formed so this is a clear indication the formation of a white precipitate by adding barium nitrate is a test for the sulfate ion present in the given solution now if you add excess of the acid to the given solution the precipitate still remains it is not soluble in excess acid okay so this is a test for the sulfate ion a white precipitate with barium nitrate or barium chloride is an indication of barium sulfate formed in the given reaction